Here in the town of Burnt Corn, Alabama, the Crawfords are the richest and most charitable couple. Today, they threw a lunch party in honor of their 30th anniversary. They invited only their most upright and honorable friends. However, one of these friends is not who they appear to be. Be honest. Ah, Allie. Allie. So, uh, tell me, what's the, uh, how do the kids say these at 411? Ah, yes, yes. There appears to have been a murder. The guests, or should I say suspects, are in the other room. The Crawfords are allowing us to use their office as an interrogation. I mean, being is they're dead. <laughs> but you should probably head in on there now. I mean, the guests are waiting. And uh, if you need anything, just holler. I'll be on out here. Excuse me, Mrs. Crawford. Mr. Crawford. What is this? What is this? Why am I here? To the table there, partner. Now, I understand your name is Clive. Clive Jenkins, am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, you, you've been the Crawford's butler for how long now? Three years, is it? Yeah, is that, is that a crime? No, no, sir, no, sir. It's not a crime, unless you killed them. Listen. I really have someone to be right now. Whoa, I have a date, whoa. as you can see. Calm down. Calm down. We're just getting started there. Listen, man. I don't have time for this. Oh, for you tell me whoa. what's right and wrong. I don't have time for Easy, this. Easy, partner. Easy does it. Listen, no. No, you know what? No. I'm done. I'm out. Dude, I'm done. I gotta go somewhere. Sir? I'm done. Sir? No, listen. You can't blame me for this. I'm done. Ain't no thing called privacy anymore, Sheriff. Ridiculous. So, Sheriff, I don't know if you've heard, I'm a film director and I just lost my lead actor for the latest movie when polar bears take over. And you, my friend, look to be just about perfect for the main role. What do you say? You think I have time for your little movie? Oh, I'm sorry, I had to stop you for just a second. Can you say that again? But this time, I want you to say it as if you were a pirate. Yard. You think I have time to be in your movie? I'm sorry, I have to stop you again. If you could just do one thing for me this time, I need you to say the line again as if you were Taz the Tasmanian Devil. You think I have time to be in your movie? Glorious. Enough of this heebie-jeebie. Just, just get yourself on out of here. Okay, okay, I understand. You need your time. But if you ever change your mind, I want you to give me a call, okay? Sheriff Taylor, I am so glad you finally called me in. I didn't get to introduce myself earlier. I am Beatrice Berman, certified psychic here in Burke Corn, and I can also come in. Talk to the dead. Miss Berman, I am not interested in your psychic voodoo scheme, whatever it is you call it. I am interested in the facts. Now tell me, who do you think murdered the Crawfords? I don't know that, but we can find out with my mystical beads. Put those things away. You're giving me the heebie-jeebies, sending them cockroaches scrawling up my skin with these things on the table here. Wait a minute. Mr. Crawford's trying to tell me something. If you could just give me one second, I'll tell you what it is. Beatrice, I've had it. Get your mystical, magical, whatever you, what you might call it. Get on out of here. I'm done with you. Go on. Get. Fine. I'll take my beats and my power somewhere else. But you're going to regret it. I know who did it. Hello, Mrs. Juju. My name is Sheriff Artie Taylor. And after looking through my notes here, it appears to me that you were the one that found the Crawfords dead in the kitchen. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. OK. Could you explain to me what happened? Well, OK. I was just walking into the kitchen to put my plate away, and I saw a huge bug and it was on the floor and I screamed and I got scared and dropped the plate. Mrs. Juju, I, I am not interested in your, your bug problems. Now, could you tell me what happened when, when you witnessed the Crawfords dead on the floor? Okay, well, with the Crawfords, I just thought they were sleeping. So I called him Mr. Crawford thinking maybe he'd kill the bug for me, but he didn't respond to me at all and that's just what everyone rushed in and now you're here and I'm in here and that's it. Yeah, yes, uh, okay. F f thank you, Mrs. Juju. Thank you. You, you. you may go up now. Somebody get me an aspirin. Don't see it over there. Uh, there is a mistake. There. I did not kill anyone. Boy, I can't even understand what you're saying. 
So, uh, Hippolyte Hypocrite, am, am I pronouncing that right? Uh, oui, oui, monsieur, uh, uh, that is uh, correct. Whoa, you seem a little nervous there, sonny boy. Are you all right? Uh, oui, oui, monsieur, uh, uh, I am just a little, um, uh, tense after what just, uh, happened. Understandable, understandable. W would you like something to drink? Uh, actually, I, I think I must go see a doctor right away. Right away. This just doesn't make sense. Someone had to have killed that poor couple. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Wait a minute. That's it. I've got it. This idea is so crazy, but it just might work. Wait, guys. Where is Judith? Well, you see here, Mr. Jenkins, I've come to the conclusion that Judith Juju is so stupid, she could not have killed the Crawfords. So I sent her little butt home. If that makes sense, I suppose. However, through my long night of work and through all of your bizarre interrogations, I have come to the conclusion that someone here at this table is the Crawford's murderer. <laughs> this person knows that they have done a heinous crime and that they will have to pay for it by the rest of their lives by being thrown in jail. I don't know. I didn't know. I'm about to reveal who did it. The true Crawford's murderer is... Beatrice Berman. Yeah. I'm sorry to interject, but I just have to know, why did you do it? I'll tell you why, Bill. The spirits told me to do it. They came to me in a dream. They told me to dispose of the Crawford. Everything was going according to plan until this meddling sheriff and his deputy came along. Now you know, that, that'd make a really interesting movie. Sheriff, I'm taking her downtown. Right behind you. Come on. Right this way. Y'all take care now, you hear? are allowing us to use their office as an interrogation, being is, <laughs> they're being... <laughs> but... <laughs> Darn, you think I have time to be... Darn, <laughs> you think I have time to be here over here? <laughs> Dude, that was awesome.